Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If any of you saw my last vlog, you will know that I got some pretty exciting Christmas presents. And in my last vlog, I said that I was going to open one of those presents on this channel for you guys. I have this. I'm not going to open any of this stuff here, but I am going to open this one on camera in a later video. The present that I'm talking about is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. I've been dying to open this. I can't wait to start using this. I think it's really going to improve the quality of my videos in general. This is what the box looks like. So I know that none of you care about the box. All you care about is what's inside. So, this is exciting. So these corners have little foam tabs on them. Carefully take everything out. Silica gel. Okay, and then there's some foam left inside there that's just stuck in. So this is the Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal. And straight away, it's slightly heavier than I thought, but it feels like it's got some good balance. So there's some stickers here and on the actual gimbal mount itself to tell you which direction the phone should be in. Let's see what's in here now. Okay, so I have some instructions, which unfortunately I think I might have to actually read. There's a wrist strap, which is actually really nice. And there's a slot just on the end here for that to attach to. And then also we have this here, so I'm not sure what this is. Oh, cool. So I have this pouch. And I can put the gimbal into the pouch. So that's just something to store the gimbal in so that it doesn't get too damaged or anything like that while you're not using it. So that's great. And then there's a charging cable and the charging cable is USB type three to just regular USB. So I think I now need to figure out how I pair this. So I need an app and there's a QR code on the box. So I'm gonna see if I can download the app directly from the QR code. Okay, so the app is currently downloading on my phone. So while I'm waiting, just some initial thoughts on the gimbal. It is exactly the size I thought it would be when I took it out, and it's exactly what I feel is the right size for a mobile gimbal like this. What's really interesting is there's a screw mount here, so you can mount this onto a tripod. I could mount this onto my switch pod. It just means that you can stand the gimbal and use it like a tripod. Being able to mount the Osmo onto my switch pod would be really good, or any tripod really, would be really useful for times when I want to use it to film time lapses, or there's also a hyperlapse function on this, which I'm really excited to try out. So like there's lots of things like that that I'll be able to combine this with equipment that I already have just to get really interesting shots. It has connected to my phone, I think, or the app is running in my phone at least. Okay, so I've got my phone in the wrong way around maybe. <sighs> this is not as easy to set up as I initially thought it was going to be. So the zoom is definitely working. I have some functionality, but I still haven't figured out how to get this to be on, if that makes sense. Okay. All right, that was something. Tilt and pan. Okay, can I make this be in landscape mode? Interesting. So I have a lot to learn about this so far, but what I like is I can control my phone from the gimbal. I can turn this way, and I can turn this way, I can tilt up, and I can tilt down. And then if I move, 
everything should be quite stable. So that is very cool. And if I bring it up, this kind of balances exactly as I need it to. So my iPhone is zoomed quite far in here and you can see that this is the camera that I'm using. And you can see me in the camera here. Hello. So yeah, I've just turned this off and now I need to just close it down. And that, it just folds away really neatly, really tidily. So this is it in its locked together mode. And then to unlock it, I just put this up and then this becomes free. I put my phone in like so. And then I think I just turn it on. And it does things. So immediately when I turn it on with my phone in, it seems to go into this portrait mode. And then if I tap, so there's a little icon with the S, which seems to be like story mode, and it gives me like a load of presets. And as soon as I hit that, the phone goes into landscape. And once the phone is in landscape, this is the way that I am going to want to use this most of the time, certainly for this channel. Probably use it in portrait mode if I ever want to get some really steady uh, story footage for my Instagram stories. But outside of that, I'm probably just going to use it uh, like this, the way I'm using it now. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a steep learning curve for me with this because I've never really used a gimbal before. But I'm really excited to learning how this thing works properly and using it in my videos because I really think it's just going to up the quality of a lot of the footage that I get in all of my videos, whether it be vlogs or whether it be product reviews or unboxings like this one. Um, but I am really excited just to kind of play around with this thing and get to grips with it. As of right now, I have no real idea how this thing works. But if I flip this, so this is not the most flattering look for me uh, on the iPhone camera, but I'm recording now on this camera, but I'm also recording on this camera right here. And as you guys can see, if I move the camera, it's keeping really steady. It is kind of moving in the frame a little bit. So it's gonna take a while for me, I think, just to get used to being really smooth with that but I'm excited to learn how to use it. I like playing with new tech. I love getting new gadgets like this, and I'm really excited to incorporate this into my videos. So I'm just going to take this around the house now and give you guys kind of just a little bit of a first look at what this thing can do with the phone. Okay, so that is my unboxing of the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And that is some, and it's like a tiny little bit of what it can do. But I'm excited to use this in my vlogs and in all my videos in the future. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.